Okay, so this is only about my 50th attempt to make this video. Um, hopefully I'll get it right this time. So this is just the day after I learned to, to solve Rubik's Cube. Now, the thing is that if you go on the internet, you'll find any number of videos, but they're all trying to show you the quickest way possible. And that usually involves having to learn lots and lots of convoluted um, t turning sequences. Whereas this uh, solution is going to involve only one four part move uh, well t two of them because it's either on the right or the left <clears throat> so first off this cube is a monster go m3 ai which oh geez, which is a bluetooth cube so it can talk to a phone or whatever uh, or in fact you can almost see an led in there flashing to say it's talking bluetooth but that's not the way i'm going to do it uh, it's just going to be mechanical here so uh, this is a completely solved cube at the moment so what i'm going to do first let's see if i can work out how to keep this in the picture all the time is basically just um try and break this up I'm trying to get it so there's no two adjacent colors but it's not all colors, is it? <laughs> uh, oh there's loads of whites uh, well, it's about as good as I can get it. Um, okay, so oh, I should have said that there's actually just two moves involved in this, and they're, they're known as the right sexy move and the left sexy move. And basically, what it consists of is to, with the face facing to you, turning the right hand side first off. I'll do it um, so clockwise, turn the upper clockwise, turn the right counterclockwise turn the upper counterclockwise that is known as the right sexy move so it just looks like that and if you do it on the uh, left hand side it's known as the left sexy move and it looks like ooh, that ooh, it's going all over the place I'll try and do it again so pu push it away twist it towards back up and then back round so that's the left uh, sexy move and if I'll just do one or right sexy move so right we're ready to go so uh, well, actually I've, I've solved one small piece of it so far so the oh yeah there's green blue orange red and then on the top is yellow and the bottom is white and um, so I'm going to start with bringing four petals up around this yellow middle to make what's known as the daisy so but by luck i've already had you got one piece in place so here is another piece so i just twist it up now i've got two here's another one so i'll just twist that up now i've got three and here's the fourth piece so i'll just twist it around to there and bring it up and now i've got four so that's known as the daisy because it's four white petals around the yellow center so now what's going to happen is these four are going to twist down to join the white but they're going to twist in such a way that they stay with their center so that orange is already above its center so if i turn it to 180 degrees it goes to join the white but it stays with its orange center and it's equally if i find this one's blue so i just turn the rest of the cube until blue comes around and turn it to the bottom and then this one is red so i find the red center turn it to the bottom and this is green it would be right around the other side so there it is and turn it to the bottom so now what we've got is that we, it's the same as the other side so we've got a white cross um, around this white middle but the difference is that's green that's orange that's blue that's red so they're with their um, centers so the next thing is to try and make this complete white face so what we're going to do is turn it yellow up and then find corners that belong on the bottom so that's got a white bit on it so it's going to go to the bottom now it's got green and orange so i'll just turn it till it's between orange and green and it's going to go to the bottom and this is when we start doing sexy moves so still not no and now it goes into place so that that one is now in the correct place so now let's find another white one. Uh, I think they're all on, on the bottom, are they? Yeah, they are. So I'll just bring that um, orange and blue one up. Um, let's just move it out of the way. Put that back. 
Um, so let's put it between its two middles. So it's blue and orange, so it needs to go between blue and orange. And then I'm just going to sexy move it till it gets into that position there with white facing down. And there it goes. So that's now in position. Let's look for another corner. So this has got white and it's red and blue. So, oh, it's already between the red and blue corners. Oh, and it's going to knock this out because that doesn't, that needs to come out to go into a different corner of that there. So um, I'll start sexy moving this. into position and the red and green has come up so it, uh, there's the green and red middles so bring that corner around to be between them and then I'm going to sexy move it so this goes down here oh, it went straight in that's cool right so we have complete white face red with red center green with green center orange with orange center and blue with blue center so the next thing is this middle layer and it's got one two three four edge pieces that need to be put into place in the correct orientation so if we look around see, see that one there that's red and green so that needs to go between there and there so what you do is you turn it away from where it wants to be and then you do a, a right sexy move and notes that there's a white corner here turn that towards your left and then do a left sexy move and now that piece has gone into between the red and green so we'll just repeat that so this is blue and orange so bring it around to the orange center now blue is on this side so it's got to so we want it to go in here so turn it away from where it wants to be and then do a right sexy move turn the cube left sexy move and Ah, that's gone in the wrong way around, but anyway, we'll come back and sort that in a minute. Um, let's just find the next one, so, oh, there it is. Right, so it's, this is the orange-green, and so it needs to go into there between uh, green and orange. So I'm going to turn it away from where it wants to be. Because it's gone to the right, I'll do a left. Left sexy move, turn the cube, do a right sexy move, and now it's in position. So I think we've got more, except that this one is in the wrong position. So um, all I'm going to do is just steal one of these yellows on the top. So let's just take that, turn it away, do a, and then turn the cube and do a. Right, that has put that yellowy piece in into that slot, and it's brought the one that should be there up. So now hopefully if we turn it up, it's between, there's blue, red, so it's, it needs to go there, so I'll turn it away from where it wants to be, because it's on the right, I'll do a left sexy move, then turn the cube, do a, a right sexy move, and there we are. So now what we've got is two layers solved. So now the tricky bit. So this is... This is the yellow face. So what we want to achieve first of all is like we've done before is, is to make a flower. So with the center we want to have four of the same color and we want obviously to be yellow on this face. And so at the moment we've got two in place and I mean you could think of those as pointers on a clock so that could be like the 12 o'clock and the 9 o'clock. Um, or if it was there it would be like quarter to six or something um, but if I make sure it is in the nine o'clock so effectively the, these two are pointing away from me um, what I'm going to do is do a front face and do a right sexy move and then another sexy move because uh, there was only two pieces and now blimey I've got to hold the other face in one go blimey that was a result um, yeah, so we're getting closer. So we've got red, green, orange, blue, and a yellow face. But the, the yellow face isn't right yet because the corners aren't in the right place. So let's see which corners are in the right place. Um, that, that red, that's red, green's in the right place. That isn't. That orange, blue is in the right place. But that one isn't. 
that's unfortunate. If two side by side were in the right place, even if they were facing the wrong way, um, it would life would be easier. But what we need to do is first of all swap, switch over two of them, and then we'll get close to where we want to be. So to switch two, keeping these two in the same position, it's going to be three sexy moves on the right, turn the cube, three sexy on the left. So that's one sexy move, two sexy move, three sexy move, then two in the cube, and there's always a white one here. Um, and then we're going to do three left, so away towards, okay. that's one, that's two, that's three. Right, so what's changed? Well, what's happened is, let's just line these. So, that round. Well, let's see which which of these corners are now in the right place. So, if we put that, say that green red one, that is in the right place. It doesn't matter; it's not um, facing up. Just at the moment, we can sort that out. And that one's in the right place. That green and orange, but then that one is wrong because it's between blue and orange. And yeah, it's red and uh, red and blue. And that one equal. Those two need to switch. So keeping these two fixed we're going to do three sexy moves turn three sexy moves so one two three turn the cube there's always a white on top if you've done it right things let's put the corners where they should be so that's a blue orange corner between blue and orange centers that is a blue red corner between blue and red centers that is a red green between red and green and that is a green uh, green orange between green and orange so all the corners in the right place it's just they haven't got the yellow faces up so that's what we do next which is turn it upside down pick it any corner corner but what's important here is to uh, only hold the cube like this don't ever rotate it all that's going to happen is um, we're going to do sexy moves until that yellow face is down so and there it goes now without doing anything else bring the next one round to be solved and we're going to do the sexies again until that face is down. And should go in this time. Okay. Things are looking quite helpful here. In fact... Oh yes, damn it, I just broke my own rules. Um, so let's bring another corner around and do that till... That's gone in with yellow down, so bring the next one round. Right, so now if we have a look. Oh right, we've got a whole face and but what we've got is three middles that are not in the right place, but that's all that needs to be solved now. So we're holding the face that we have got, and sometimes you're lucky you do get a face, sometimes you don't, and you have to do this twice. But, um, right, so it's going to be one right, one left, five right, five left. Here we go. That's one right. That's one left. So I'm going to do five on the right now. One. Three, four. You kind of know you're doing something right if you get to if you haven't done five and you've got uh, six pieces that are the same colour here. Well, yellow because <laughs> it's on the top. So just five on the left. I hope this works. So we're going to do. There's one. 
That's two. That's three. That's four. Hold on, I've not done something. And then, oh, that's five. And thank goodness that it is the Rubik's Cube solved. I'll just put the white up. Yeah, once to go. And that's me done.